Okay, people, welcome to History with Lepidus with me, Lepidus. That's me, because my name is Lepidus. Okay, today we'll be talking about two people named Rylan Sunerius, but before we can get to them, we have to start with a guy named Numitor. Now, Numitor is king over an old Latin city named Alba Longa. And Numitor has a brother, and Numitor has uh, at least at least two kids. Uh, it doesn't really say. He at least has a daughter, and he probably has some sons. Anyway, he has a brother named Amulius, who was a jerk, and he's all angry. He's all scar-like because he didn't get the throne. So he kicks out Numitor, gives him the boot. And then he kills all the male heirs, so that there can be no more king. So he becomes king. And then he makes Rhea Silva, instead of killing her, he makes her the Vestal Virgin. Represented by this amazingly drawn fire here, right here. Num I don't know why he doesn't kill Numitor. That seems really stupid to me. Maybe there's like Death Honey or something like that. But yeah, he gets rid of Numitor. And he becomes king over Alba Longa. Emilius does. So, since Rhea Silva, daughter of Numitor, former king, I get rid of his crown, sadly. Since Rhea Silva is a vestal virgin, virgin, she can't do the frickle frackle with people, but you know what she does? She does a frickle frackle with someone. Someone named Mars, god of war. I give him a gun to symbolize that he is god of war. Mars. No, I won't write down names. He is god of war. Anyway, so they do the frickle fraggle, and she has twins. One is named Romulus, and the other is named Remus, and they're both babies, because they're just born. Amulius, once he figure, finds out about this, he takes them, puts them in a basket. He's a basket. The, puts them in the Tiber River, and sends them down. He doesn't kill them because, you know, they're demigods. That would kind of make Mars a little angry, killing his sons. Until a wolf, an amazing wolf, paint drawing of a wolf, of a she-wolf, finds him. And a woodpecker is there, too. That's a woodpecker. Finds him, too. She-wolf nurses them. The woodpecker gives them food until they're found. By a farmer and his wife. Okay. Okay. Next up, then. So later on, the farmer and his wife. They're all like, "Yo, dogs." Not dogs. Not dogs. No. They're like, "Yo, Ronson Remus." Once they're nice and old. They're all like, let's go. You guys are like the heirs to the throne of all Belonga. And they're like, oh man, that's cool. He's around with San Remus. That's pretty cool. So they go to all Belonga. A L. They go to all Belonga, where Amulius, the jerk, is king. He's got a huge mouth because he's such a jerk. Who's king? They go to all belonga. They get rid of Amulius either by killing him or they probably banish him. I don't know. And they make Numitor their grandpappy. They make him king again. So everyone's happy. Yay, yay, yay. But Romulus and Remus, they want to rule their own city. So they go off to a bunch of hills. And they're all. And they pick two hills and they're like. Romulus is all like. Hey man, this Palantine. Sorry, I don't want to get this wrong. Hey, and Ramos, Remus. They both go to their respective hills. Romulus goes, Hey, Romulus. Hey man, we should go to the Palantine Hill. And Remus is all like, No man. We want the Aventine Hill. So what they do is they stand on their hills, their respective hills, and they watch birds. 
amazing birds. Newton Remus sees more birds, and he's all like, I saw more birds, I win. But Dromus is all like, I saw my birds first. And so they get in an argument, and so they build up fortifications around their hills so that, you know, things don't, they don't kill each other. But then Remus is all a jerk, and he goes around this to his brother, and he jumps over his brother's wall, which is a thing you just don't do. So Romulus kills his brother. He's dead. Remus is dead. No more. No one cares about him anymore. He's dead. And Romulus becomes king of his own city, which he named after himself Rome. And that... Wait. And Romulus says the best line ever uttered by anyone according to Livy. So perish whoever else shall leap over my walls. And if that's not awesome, I don't know what is. Anyway, Romulus founds Rome. Everything is great. I am Lepidus, and this has been Lepidus Draws History with Lepidus. See you next time.